When people ask me what I do for a living and I tell them that I teach math teachers, I get horrible reactions of, oh, I hate math or I was never good at math. We want to change that for the next generation and help them understand maybe it's not that you're horrible at math, but it was how math was taught to you. We believe math should make sense and be engaging. We think all kids can learn math, but teachers need support in order to make that happen. The UC Irvine Math Project is a professional development and organization that connects the university to the K-12 school system. Its primary purpose for existing is to help teachers and schools and districts teach math better and students to be more successful. We want our students to be able to take risks in a mathematics classroom. But what that means is the teachers have to feel confident to be able to help children manage that risk and to ask questions and to help them solve problems. The time with the Irvine Math Project allows them the time to ask questions and talk about, well, what would I say? How would I respond? If a student said this, what should my next move be? They talk about it collaboratively in a low-risk professional development training. It allows teachers the time to develop their own skill sets so they feel confident and are better able to explore with children. At the Irvine Math Project, we find that good math instruction requires a balance between three types of knowledge. So there's conceptual learning that kids understand big ideas, procedural fluency in which they get more proficient at performing those procedures, and then applying that into real world problem solving. A balance of those three will allow students to be successful in math and apply it in the real world. We help teachers achieve balance in instruction by helping them consider which resources to use. There are a ton of resources available right now, especially on the internet, so we have to help them balance the use of their textbook with fun and new engaging things because 180 good lessons don't make a coherent curriculum. Recognizing and understanding that balance in the classroom and giving teachers the ability to plan and use the resources that are available to them is really our mission. In professional development, we teach the teachers the way we want them teaching their students. So we engage them in discourse and reasoning. There's a lot of aha moments. They're fully engaged in the training and we discuss ways that they can directly implement it with their students, but we've modeled those ways with them so they can see how to build discourse in their math classroom and involve students in the hands-on learning. We're facilitating more hands-on activities through which students are developing a better conceptual understanding of math instead of just learning or memorizing procedures. I'm also able to facilitate more group discussions, which wouldn't really happen before UCI came in. We see a lot of growth in the classrooms that are using the conceptual lessons and the teachers taking the time to collaborate with each other and talk about those aha moments. The professional development and support has strengthened my confidence in guiding teachers through curriculum innovation, data-driven instruction, and differentiated learning approaches, ultimately leading to improved outcomes for all students. A good day of professional development is not enough to really impact student learning. We have to get out into the classrooms and actually teach it with their students. So we also do a form of lesson study where we co-plan a lesson together, then one of us will model it with their students while the teachers observe, and then they get a chance to reflect and try to teach that same lesson to another group of students. We find it much more successful when they can see us actually doing the things we ask them to do with their own students so they can believe that their students are capable of doing a lot more than perhaps they thought they were. Today, I was able to to use algebra tiles with the teachers in the morning. Some of them picked it up easily, some struggled a little bit because while they have procedural knowledge of how to solve equations, some of them don't understand kind of the why and where did it come from of the procedures they follow. They could naturally assume that their students would also struggle. It helps teachers feel more free to ask questions, to make sense of things that maybe they didn't have fully developed understanding in a particular strand of mathematics. But I also think it develops a better math culture. We're not afraid of math, right? It's important for children to see their teachers struggle and work through it and feel challenged and find success. When we ask kids to learn in mathematics classrooms, we want them to have a growth mindset and be able to say, I don't understand it yet. We don't expect our teachers to understand it all, but when they can model, I don't know it yet, let's work through it and find the answer together, we're building better mathematicians. We develop strong and lasting partnerships with the school districts and schools that we work with. This involves us actually listening 
listening to them, meeting with them regularly to find out what are their strengths and what are their needs, and then designing exactly what it is that they need. If that's regular pacing guides and course outlines, if that's summer school curriculum, if it's summer math camp curriculum, if it's designing intervention courses or intervention units, designing courses for more advanced students, creating pathways for students, whatever it is districts need, we will find a way to make that happen so that we can provide the support that they need and their teachers need. We believe that all students can reach proficiency in math, and that's a civil rights issue of our generation. We think that through professional development, strong partnerships with school districts, helping them organize curriculum and supporting the students directly, that we can change the trajectory for the students. We can do this by providing coherent curriculum, having strong partnerships with districts, and providing professional development to support the teachers so that they can better teach their students. We want teachers that feel confident to obtain knowledge and to help kids get there. What I've noticed in working with Urban Math Project in multiple districts is they help people do that. You create a lot of victories in classrooms when the light bulb goes on. We do that in partnership with children and we build success for the whole organization. And when this organization is not afraid of mathematics, we can do good things for kids and change their lives.